exothermic welding procedure. The following steps outlined is a general demonstration of a typical welded connection. The method of making electrical connections of cable to cable. Step 1. Cutting the conductor cable. Prior to cutting, tie thin wire tightly between the cutting point at conductor cable to prevent the cut ends from splitting. Otherwise, the connection may not articulate firmly, leading to corrosion and damage. After cutting, remove the thin wire. Step 2. Clean the conductor and metal to be connected. The conductors should be cleaned with cable clean brush to remove dirt and sand to prevent the contamination on the connection to lower the joint quality and dry before the connection is made. To connect conductor cable with the metal surface, such as a steel structure, fence, lamp post, make sure to remove paint or galvanized layer from the surface to prevent joint will not be connected. After the connection is completed, galvanized liquid can be sprayed on the surface. Step 3. Mold and Handle Clamp Assembly Select the right mold model for the types of required connection. After clean and dry the mold, assemble the mold and the handle clamp in good position and alignment. Close the clamp tightly to prevent molten copper liquid leakage from the connection area. Step 4. Warm up the mold and conductor cable. Ignite the propane torch and dry out inside of the mold thoroughly on both sides and dry conductor cable area to be connected for 1 to 2 minutes. Warm up the mold when it is used for the first time of the day or after the mold not being used over 1 hour because moisture will be absorbed into the mold, conductor cable or the connected metal resulting swollen joint more than normal due to the porosity. Step 5. Assemble the conductor cable into the mold. For conductor cable larger than 95 square millimeters, use handle clamp cable to align the conductor into the mold. Step 6. Pour the weld powder. First, insert a steel disc into the mold. Ensure that the steel disc is properly seated to prevent weld metal powder falling into the connection area. If weld metal powder was leaked before welding ignition, the connection will not be completed because the black stain mixed in the connection. Pour the loose weld metal powder into the mold quickly. The bottom of the tube contains compressed fine powder as starting powder and squeeze and tap the bottom of the tube a few times to loosen this powder. Pour the starting powder on top and in the mold.
Step 7. Igniting the weld powder. Aim the flint igniter to the mold opening. Ignite the starting powder on the mold cover. The person must wear gloves to prevent heat, and he must stand behind the mold socket as shown in the video. After he triggers the flint igniter, wait 30 seconds for the reaction to be completed to form solid molten copper alloy. The ignition may fail due to using the wrong igniter recommended by the manufacturer. For safety reason, the Stark Power has been designed to start ignition at 400 degrees Celsius. In the case to use a different igniter from the recommendation, please consult the manufacturer. Step 8. Removing slag from the mold. After the reaction, leave the mold to cool down for approximately one minute. Then open the top cover of the mold to remove the slag using a scraper to remove the slag in the mold over area and the upper half first because the slag in these areas is thinner than that in other areas. After that, remove the thicker slag from the lower area of the mold. In the case of difficulty in removing the slag, Use the scraper tip to tap at the slag. Be careful not to hit the mold surface. Step 9. Removing the connection from the mold. Open the mold, then remove the connection. Remove the connection with care not to chip the mold. Step 10. Mold Cleaning Use soft brush recommended by manufacturer to clean inside the mold cavity and cover to remove excess slag. Do not use hard brush to clean the mold because the mold will be chipped and worn out.